metal fest, end of the world thing, the fucking Mayan has got it wrong, man. If we end it tonight, at least we went out with a fucking killer fucking lineup, right? Yeah. Fuck the Mayans, we're here tonight, the Josephine, to have a fucking good time and see some of the best bands you've ever fucking seen. I'm even fucking shocked that I pulled this fucking lineup together tonight. So, uh, you know what? We got some fucking rad shit. I'm gonna do a couple more quick fucking jokes. A little bit quicker than you can stroke your grandma off in the fucking bathroom of the Josephine, which is pretty quick because a lot of people are waiting in line, you know what I'm saying? Alright. So, what's the difference between a gay guy and a straight guy? Yeah, a bottle of Jameson and a fucking maybe six Mannies. Ha! Can I get a rim shot? Oh, it was pretty. That was a bad one. I feel like I have to be more absurd. I've never done comedy. Actually, this is my second comedy at a metal show. I got kicked out of the comedy underground. You know, they do the open mic comedy things on like Monday night, you know? And I didn't know you have to like literally show up there at like seven at night and like, wow, you know, there's like 150 people there waiting to get their little fucking three minutes of comedy and they cut you off. And then it's, um, so it's, you know, there's actually some pretty good guys there. It's like, if you want to do stand-up comedy in Seattle, you've got to go to the Comedy Underground. So I went there and I signed up. Apparently it's not cool to, like, cross somebody's name off and, like, write your name, like, right next to it. And it's like, oh, man, there's etiquette behind this fucking comedy. I'm like, etiquette? I put on fucking punk rock shows in Seattle. I'm just trying to get my three minutes. Did you see the fucking shirt I was wearing? It was, like, this bright Hawaiian shirt. Even more ridiculous than this one. And I'm like, well, just give me some time. And they're like, well, why don't you come back next week? And we'll forget this ever happened. And I'm like, and then I have to sign up like all the rest of everybody. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? So I ended up going, it was a Monday night, I ended up going to the Two Bit Saloon. It was like Monday metal night. I called up my buddy Wes, and he was like, holy shit. They're like, yeah, I guess I'll let you. He wasn't excited, actually. He was just like, yeah, Greg, I'll let you do some comedy here. I had like three people like coming around with me to support it. So I did some comedy at the Monday Metal at fucking 2-Bit, and it was fucking awesome. I was the only comedian there, no competition, and I did a couple metal jokes. I'll do one more in um, Seven-Year-Old Blind Girl. What did the seven-year-old blind girl get for Christmas? Cancer. Cancer. That's a warm one. I know. I know, you guys. I try to touch people's hearts when I'm at shows because if you just touch their cock first off, it's just awkward and you have to buy him a drink or explain why you touched a fucking 15-year-old. I'm like, dude, I thought you were 19. What the fuck? You know, you didn't show me ID prior to the rape. I know. So I know, like, when I ever come to the Josephine, I wear it. This one's about David Elvis Beckel. I kind of ruined it, but, um... Anyways, every time I come to Josephine, I love it. And every time I see Cake and Bulls, I love it. And it's great. And there's some beautiful ladies in the audience. But I have to give up to David Elvis, because he's got the best rack in fucking Ballard, right? Best rack in Ballard. I'm talking about man tits. You guys like the man tits? Woo! Everybody likes man tits. So I'll do one about Kevin. I haven't even po finally polished the punchline yet. And it was like, uh, when I grew up, I remember some very good memories sitting in the pentagram with my grandma on the couch watching TV. Usually it would be Murder, She Wrote or For The Price Is Right. Nine times of all, though, we were listening to like uh, some like either old school jazz music my grandma started masturbating. The dog came out, started licking her ass. I started fucking masturbating. The mom came in, and you know what? And we had a goat and a French maid. Jeff Miner walks in, fucking masturbating like a mad banshee. You know how Jeff Miner is horny as fuck. He's just a weird old man. And then he told me about this band called Covenant. It's like, we didn't even know. We just went over in a pantogram because we're watching Murder, She Wrote. And then everybody came at the same time, and what were we listening to? We were listening to fucking Covenant. It was 1985. If you guys want to hear some shit, make some fucking noise.